Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And of course, you know, we got Simon over here playing the role y'all remember this when we found out that they were together that her and simon were an item they quickly got engaged you know it's just like dorothy falling from kansas over there into never never land or emerald city <laughs> i don't know what type of press they had but they were trying to sell us a bill of goods that didn't have an expiration date but hey we smarter than the average Joe over here or Jill I would like to say y'all remember when Portia and Simon went over there to Ben in Africa and they were supposed to meet his mom and he was bringing his so called glorified girlfriend over there with the intent to marry her and they had gave her just a I don't know, a warm welcoming in his native language and culture. Yes, yeah, somebody even made her a dress. Okay, that's the, that is the safest dress I've seen Portia wear where you didn't show skin. Now, if that was his custom and she's supposed to dress like that, how long you think they're going to be married? <laughs> I give it a weekend and go on and drink up Simon go on and drink up to the liquor of your choice okay drink up because we're gonna put something on you that basically hopefully you will understand and come true to form and get this uh farce of the engagement marriage or divorce however you want to see it together we want you, if you really love Portia, we want you to get married between the months of June and September. That's right. That's June, July, August, September. That's four months to show and prove that you want to do right by this young lady. Okay? Because she definitely have made a fool out of herself since she's met you. Okay? Since she's met you, she's lost or given up two jobs, two very lucrative jobs for your hand in marriage. The helper went out there and bought you an engagement ring. Okay, she didn't bring her. She didn't buy her first uh, ex-husband no engagement ring. She damn sure didn't buy Dennis McKinley no engagement ring. But for some reason, out the blue, she went and spent her hard-earned foolish money fighting on Real Housewives of Atlanta and Dish Nation money. She spent it on you. She bought you a glorified. Uh, I'm going to say friendship ring, okay? Because neither one of y'all have made a move to go to the nearest courthouse or even call Candace daddy. Because Candy Burris Tucker, father, is a preacher, a minister, however you want to look at it, okay? And she could have hooked that up for you all. Y'all could have had a private ceremony over there in the house that he doesn't have your name on, okay? Let's read that again. Get married in the house that don't have your name on it. Okay. Mrs. Soon to be G. All right. Mrs. G. All right. He playing some gangster moves on you. And I thought you were smart enough to pick up of the pieces. You know, pick up the pieces. Put the puzzle together. But I see we're going to have to be over here showing and proving, telling you what steps to do. Poor show. Williams if he does not marry you between the months of June and September just cut your losses go on back home to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and suit up to be uh, wailed out 
<laughs> and very much sought out by Kenya Moore because she is going to fry you, baby girl. Okay? And then when you get into that situation, we don't want you to pick up hands. Just use your verb on this because we know you got the verb. You got the words. You got the words. You got to use them and put them together so it makes sense. Okay? So that's all we want because we know if you go back there to that territory, even though you don't had a taste of the good life or having your own spinoff, having your own show, but shall we go back and look at the results? Okay, crash, burn, and it's still on fire. We don't want to put it out. We just want it to put itself out. Won't even mention the name during this video. That's how concerned I am. All right. If he does not marry you between the months of this year, 2022, June to September, after September, do we got 31 days in September, y'all? 31 days. I think we got 31 days in September, right? Or is it 30? I can't find my calendar. But once that time has expired, you need to take your losses, tuck your tail between your legs, and get the hell out of that marriage, okay? Or, or that shacking relationship. Because he only meant to lease you. He did not want to buy you. Because probably somebody in his corner, his clan, his uh generation, his lineage, his family, they probably don't like you, Porsche. Because <laughs> why haven't? And it's just me. I don't know if you can just put it out there. If you think I got it in error. Did you go and see and visit with his mother when you went over there chasing after him? Because you felt something was going on. Something was wrong. So you had to leave baby girl PJ and fly over there nonstop. With your protege, Lauren. Y'all had to go see what was going on. What was shaking. What was your glorified boyfriend getting himself into. Okay. Because he didn't he didn't ask you to come. Or would it came out in public. It came out in the blogs. He didn't ask you to come because he didn't want you to come. He wanted to go spend some time in his native land with his boys. Okay. But then you, sure, you showed up. And all those uh, plans that he once had with other people. Other sexes, they had to be canceled, okay, to another time unspecified to you, all right. But did you ever go on over there to see his mom? Did you see his mom when y'all were over there? More than likely, you did. Now, if you, you would have had a photographic uh, moment and memory for us to take part of, all right. Now, evidently, it must be a situation where Bravo do not, I mean, do not want to give you a wedding a wedding special they want you to go on and get married to this gentleman okay if he is a gentleman right now i feel like calling him a gentleman because <sighs> i get tired of calling him father time i gotta think of some more names for him because th everything just keeps coming every time i do commentary but right now we want to keep um we want to keep uh father time quiet let him muddle over in his mind what he should do because you only have four months to do it in four blazing months that's june to september you can have a hot summer steaming wedding simon and uh what do you call it vacate somewhere cold or you can try for a fall wedding where everything is kind of warm and um and hot just the right temperature you see what i'm saying well you could just put on a little sweater and wear the nicest fall outfits of colors those are the only options you have if you're going to show and prove if you're going to be a man simon if you're going to be an honorable man simon you need to go on and marry uh portia p willie uh the thought leader okay we like to call it Dot Lena, but you can make an honest woman out of her by marrying her really tomorrow. Would that fit your schedule? Because the damn show didn't have nothing on a calendar like you were doing anything pressing, okay? We don't know. It's still up in the air about your businesses because every time we turn around, you're on the golf course or you are in your backyard playing by yourself. So I wonder, was that a... Uh, a thing you did when you were a child you like playing by yourself being to yourself okay maybe that wasn't a good thing maybe that's why you're kind of introverted until you get around certain people you trust and then you a little extroverted but um yeah simon we need you to show and prove or we need you to let portia go because she ain't gonna let she ain't gonna let you go so you got to break it off with her so she can run around with joey 
okay or any other fascinating younger man than yourself she can try to coerce to marry her because i don't know what the deal what the big deal is she's already been married before so i really don't know why why or oh why she would want to get married again uh, instead of just solidifying her revenue streams and making sure they're good in case she did not get another uh, money maker of a man. You see what I'm saying? Because sometimes we got to own our own stuff. You know what I'm saying? We got to own our own bank accounts in case it don't work out. Because, you know, like Tiny Todd Tucker over there, Tiny Tim Todd Tucker, Candy Burris's, uh well, I can't say us because they are legally married and bonded to each other, okay? But it's like he's just waiting and buying his time because he's acting up over there and she's not liking it. She may not say it on air, but we call her expressions when she was being taped for The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 14. She knew he had some hard feelings towards her because he feels left out. Now, how a 49, 50-year-old man feel left out? When it's concerning his wife's company and things that she's trying to do, it bewilders me. It bewilders me, okay? And it gets up under my skin. Cause I'm like, why are you watching her dollars, the people she move and shape with? Why aren't you trying to do something for yourself? You don't need candy to help you out. You're a man. Simon, you a man. So why do you need to be on television? Why don't you make your own role? Your own executive decision move. And if you want to be in television, go somewhere where you could take up some acting classes. Tyler Perry is here in Georgia. And we've got some other filmmakers down here. Go on and get your own reality thing going on. Go on over there. You could join the Bad Boys Club, okay? You could join that club. Or better yet, tell Todd to invite you to something him and Carlos King, I hear, is supposed to be working on. Go get your own fame to claim. Why don't you be your own little reality star? Don't wait on Portia to put you on, is what I'm trying to say. Put your own self on. Because you love being on social media. And I'm beginning to think Portia posts for you. Because you have little, little computer skills is what i'm saying because i think she made a reel for you and you were just sitting there just admiring it like it was a brand new toy and she even said so herself she made the reel for you and that was just like a little video something like a little tiktok where you showcase yourself or you show yourself doing something amazing and hopefully people will like it and gravitate to it and try to repeat what you did all right, Simon, but it doesn't seem like you're really savvy in that. That's what it questions me. I would not question your ability to counting, to counting money, to counting numbers, this, that, and the third, because you are a degreed person when it comes to finance or really accounting, okay? So you know where to push those points between those zeros and know how to come up with a plan of action or how to become a six, seven, eight figure uh person out there individual but um like i said we, we we don't know we don't know that could be a fictitious thing that you've put yourself out there to be an accountant but we're going to give it to you just because we feel in a good mood we're not going to research or vet you anymore we're just going to go on what you have given us okay what you have given us thus far to this day so that's pretty much all I got, Simon. I'm pretty much telling you, you have between June or September to make an honest woman out of Portia Williams, okay? She's been claiming you since she got her hands in you, okay? On you, by you, snatched you from somebody else's attention, okay? And she happens to have a book that's coming out in June. It's called Sinless. You know who's going to be reading that book and purchasing that book? <laughs> Yours truly. Because I know she knows things about you that you don't probably want to let out to the community. Okay? That's why if you're going to do a crime or you're going to do something kind of exploitish, you need to keep it between yourself even though you're married. Okay? Don't show other people how you get down if it's not legally viewable. 
don't do it okay just don't do it so i don't know if you're shitting in your pants or you're pissing in your pants you and portia both thinking how you all are gonna look through her book and if you have nothing to worry about you should be smoking your cigar like it ain't nothing going on like smoking out the window and my Bruno voice, Bruno Mars voice, and Anderson Pack, Silk Sonic. If you haven't picked up the tape, go and get it. It's wonderful. And I will, I'm not publicly telling you that because I'm getting paid for it. No, I actually bought the tape, and I've been playing it, playing it, playing it. Okay, but these are not two fly people. Okay, <laughs> these are two people that are bothering desperately backwards. They don't even know how to come forward, how to present themselves to it be believable that they are truly are a couple. I know y'all get it sometime. Y'all see them interacting with one another and y'all be like, no, that's a true couple. Well, just like we can't get Simon to be having a blue check by his name that's being verified of who he is and what he does. See, that's a problem, okay? We can't always look at what's on the surface. We got to look beneath the surface, okay? We got to observe when a person is doing something. And if it doesn't add up, or if it quacks like a duck, looks like a duck, but may not have the makeup as a duck, more than likely it's still a duck. It's just camouflaged, okay? To try to be something and someone else. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Did Simon, um, how do you call it? Steal somebody's uh, personality, somebody's uh, demographics, or is he who he say he is, okay? Is he who he say he is? Even though Portia should be doing her own vetting, because it's really not that hard. Just hire a private investigator. And you find out anything, you pretty much, it don't cost you though, but it'll cost you lesser on the first beginning than trying to figure it all out at the ending. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Because Portia, tell the truth. He don't like you in a way. I shouldn't say like you. He don't trust you. Because he wouldn't went so fast and got a house where your name was not on it. Okay? Now, still up for debate. We have people say, well, how do you know your name ain't on it? Well, how do you know her name is on it? Okay? That's what I would say to that. But he's not coming out denying it. And she's not really saying, well, she don't have to say too much of anything. Because Portia calling the man her husband, and he ain't even her husband. Oh, so we can't really trust her and her way of thinking. But, y'all, what y'all think about this? It's been literally a year and some months now. Or a year and a month. Because we, we found out about him in April last year, right? And here we are in May. Going towards the latter part of May. And yet, she stopped wearing her ring, even though some of my family members are saying, oh, she just did that because she wants more publicity on her, on whether or not it, it's uh, trouble in paradise. But we really could care if it's paradise trouble or not. We just want you to be legit, Portia. We really want you, if you're going to be Simon Gabadia's wife, don't you think he needs to stop? It's been a year now. Y'all been shacking. I don't know how long. It's time to make an honorable woman out of you. So, I'm just setting those parameters just to see will he come through for you. Because if he come through for you, he might be alright. He might be alright. And I'm only giving him 10% because the other 90% is still out. It's still out with the jury. Because we don't know. We don't know. We don't make hasty decisions. We just watch people. We watch them and see what is going to transpire and is it contradicting. That's what we look for. Is it contradicting what he say he is and who he say he is. All right. Well, Portia, you keep shining. Know that you can always count on me to report, report of what I see. Keep smiling. Keep shining. <laughs> anyway, I will see y'all next video, guys. Y'all take it easy.